Ciao, I'm Eva and today we are going to cook together one of the traditional Sicilian pasta. The name is pasta con anchova. Anchova means anchovies, guys. And this, is, uh, this pasta is also known in Palermo as uh, pasta milanesa, which means from Milan. Not because this recipe was born in Milan, but because uh, Sicilian people who lived in Milan brought with them the typical Sicilian, the traditional Sicilian uh, product, uh, such as uh, anchovies, uh, tomato paste, and they invented there this kind of pasta. What we need to make our pasta con anchova, we are going to use anchovies and this is very important because I'm going to use anchovies under salt. Now, if you can't find them because maybe it can be a little bit uh, tricky, you can also use uh, anchovies under oil, but please guys, don't say to Sicilian. That's a Sicilian message. It means Luca Brasi sleeps with the fishes. We are going to use uh, some uh, raisins that right now are soaking in some water so I can have them a little bit softer. Then we are going to use uh, pine nuts, some tomato paste, uh, onion. We are going to use bread crumb and we are going to make uh, muica turrata, which means uh, bread crumb toasted in a pan. And we are going to use this as our parmigiano cheese. And then we are going to use uh, some water, olive oil, black pepper, salt, and uh, this pasta that uh, in Italy is known as uh, pasta riccia, as mafalde, as margherita. Here in America I found it under the name of mafalda. Now, if you don't find it, you can easily use also bucatini. Maybe it's a little bit easier. So guys, uh, let's start cook. The first thing we are going to do is uh, clean our anchovies, which means I'm going to wash them and take out their bones. So we are going to put some olive oil in a pan. We turn on the heat to medium temperature and we put inside our onion. We let the onion cook for about two minutes, no more. After these two minutes, guys, you... How do you say abbassare? So lower your temperature and we add the anchovies. We need them to dissolve in our oil. I already smell Sicily <laughs> and we just started now. I know that sometimes there is someone who said that they don't like anchovies, but uh, guys, try this pasta and then you will discover that not just you will like anchovies, you will love them. After our anchovies are melted, we are going to add our tomato paste. And some water. As you can see with the water, the tomato paste is already creating a sauce. We will add a little bit more. We are going to add our raisins. Squeeze it because we don't want the water, we want just the raisins. Our pine nuts. We stir and we let it cook for about 10 minutes. Because the anchovies, they were under salt, because the tomato paste is already very salty. Before add some salt, please uh, taste it, because otherwise it will be too salty. Mine doesn't need any other salt, maybe a pinch of black peppers. Shuri, shuri, shuri di tutto l'anno, la murica mi da stiti l'utornu. Maybe I'm not a good singer, but come on guys, I feel like in Sicily. Our water is boiling and also here uh, pay attention with the salt because our sauce uh, is enough uh, salty. So I'm going to put just 
a little bit our mafalda. Remember always to choose your pot when you cook in pasta depending on the size of the pasta, which means that if you have a short pasta, you can have a shorter pot, but with enough water always. If you have a long pasta like spaghetti or mafalde or bucatini, a taller pot like this helps you a lot. While our sauce is cooking, in this pan I'm going to put some olive oil. And here we are going to roast our breadcrumb, that will be our parmigiano. This is what we call in Italy cheese for poor people, because when they couldn't afford cheese, to put something on their pasta, they use the breadcrumbs. And we use this not just for this kind of pasta, but also for other uh, recipes. We will roast our breadcrumb at medium temperature, but uh, you need to check on it because uh, it's very easy to burn the breadcrumb, and we want just to toast it. Our bread is becoming a little bit brown, so it is ready. And we are going to put it here, waiting until our pasta is ready. So it's time to put the pasta in our sauce. Now we mix it very, very well. We are going to put some of our breadcrumb and our uh, pasta guanciova e mollica turrata is ready. So guys, uh, buon appetito! Uh, Harper, do you taste it? Harper, I'm jealous. <laughs> Leave something for me. So this is a real test because I hate anchovies. Eat it. This pasta is approved by someone who despises anchovies on their own. It doesn't taste fishy at all. You just have a nice like salty umami and it is super, super delicious. Mamma mia. Eh, mamma mia, Harper, I can tell. He's licking his fingers, so it's a good sign, guys. Guys, if you try this recipe, tag us on a picture on Instagram or Facebook, at Pasta Grammar. We're here every week, so hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Ciao.